What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and everyone in between. Today I'm doing a review on the Mad Cat's Xbox 360 controller. To give you a little history about myself, I got this controller when I was 14. Thank you dad. I use it from everything from Battlefield 3, Battlefield Hardline, Dark Souls, every racing game, Need for Speed Unleashed 2. It's absolutely one of my best and favorite controllers for my game console. As you can see back there, I have joysticks and I have another controller, but by far this is my favorite controller. I also have a PS3 controller that I've uh, put an emulator on, and yet I still use this controller. Uh, one of the best things when I got this, it was for 25 bucks. Rather than spending, spending $60 or $40 at GameStop, I got this for 25 bucks. One of the downsides is, is that it has a wire, but again, I'm a PC gamer, so that really doesn't matter to me. If you want to take it and hook it up to your Xbox, it is plug and play, and it will hook right up and you'll be able to play it with your friends or anyone else. Unfortunately, it is not the same case for the PC, you won't be able just to plug and play. Another cool thing is that the D-pad is super responsive, super super responsive, so when I'm playing Mario on my PC on my Asus G75BW 14GB, this is a lot more responsive than the Xbox 360 controller, which I recently got. Uh, it does not feel like a cheap controller at all, it, at all. It's absolutely a, almost like a clone copy of the Xbox 360 controller. If you were to close your eyes and hand this to someone, they would not be able to tell. I mean, maybe the wire would give it away and the points on the bottom, because it is pretty pointy, but other than that, it's almost a clone copy. It's really extremely sturdy, you don't hear any cracking when you're trying to flex it, and if you throw it against a wall, it will <laughs> stand up. I have had my moments playing Dark Souls where I've thrown my controller against the wall. If you guys have played Dark Souls, you know what I'm talking about. And it sounds absolutely amazing. Maybe some of you aren't into controller sounds, but I personally am. Um, it's super responsive and the vibration on it is... It's almost like an, a PlayStation 2 controller. It, it vibrates a lot harder than the Xbox 360 controller, so you definitely get that force feedback, which is pretty awesome and ladies. The triggers, the triggers are mad easy to use. Mad easy to use. The bumpers on the top are super responsive, so it's really good for killing people in Battlefield and or, you know, I don't know what else you use bumpers for than first person shooters. Uh, the bottom little triggers, these little, uh, the little triggers are pretty good, uh, for racing games, they're not as responsive as the PlayStation 3 controllers and or the Xbox controllers, uh, you don't get that same, uh, feel of a, a gas pedal, you know, you push it like that, you're going, and then you push it like that, and you're already going full speed, push it a little more, and, you know, so, I mean, that's alright, it's not a big deal, this all can be calibrated inside your PC if you're using it for a PC. If you're using it for Xbox, you should, you know, you should have an Xbox 360 controller, it's not my fault. The ring lights up, which is pretty cool, you know, you get some Mad Caps controllers that are copies and the ring doesn't really light up, but the cool thing about this, you know, you have player 1, player 2, player 3, and player 4, and it lights up according to what slot you're in, or what player you are. So if you're playing a fighting game or something like that, bam, you're good to go, you know who you are, even though there's only two players. I would hope you would know who you are. But you know, you sometimes you get confused. For some people, they have a problem that the sticker, it's a sticker and it's not metal, like the Xbox 360 controller, but shit, it's a freaking sticker, get over it. As well as some people have problems with the start and the select button being on the top. Uh, if you'll notice on the Xbox 360 controller, the start and select buttons are right there, but I mean, how many times do you really p p press those buttons? And uh, that's it for the review on the Xbox 360 Mad Cats controller. Now I'm going to teach you how to install this bad boy for your PC. Alright guys, so now that you got done watching my review, I'm going to teach you how to install the Xbox 360 Mad Cats controller. Right now, you know, you're on your, your browser should be open if you're watching this video. And you're going to go to the link that I provided below in the description. It's going to take you to this website, which is a Microsoft hardware site. Uh, what you should be seeing is what operating system you have. If you have a Windows 7 64-bit, that should already be selected. But if you have anything else like a 32-bit system or Windows Vista, which I please suggest you uh, get Windows 7, or you have a Windows XP, one of the best operating systems out there, just choose that. Uh, you're going to click Windows, uh, in my case I have Windows 7. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to click Download. 
and it should start downloading. So once that's done downloading, you are going to open it and you are going to run the software. Just let it go through its things. Hit accept. Next. Alright, once that's done downloading, hit finish. It should close out. Great. Now, take your Xbox Madcast 360 controller and plug it into your computer. It's going to try and install itself. While that's doing that, go into your hit your Windows key and then you're gonna type in dev D E V M G M T dot M S C that's gonna open uh, device management alright so now you should be looking at the device management screen you should go to other devices and then you'll see the Mad Cats gamepad and it'll have an exclamation mark on it. Double click that and it should open up the properties. Go to drivers, go to update drivers, go to browse my computer for driver software. Rather than pick browse, go to let me pick from the list of device drivers on my computer. You'll scroll down to Microsoft common controls Microsoft controls right there all right now that you're seeing this page just click next you'll get a warning saying installation of the device driver is not recommended because blah 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 don't worry about that just hit yes it will start installing the driver software your Xbox 360 Mad Cat controller should now be installed you should see a light and it will be lit up on player one on the Madcast controller. That's all you need to do. Congratulations and have some fun. Just close out of everything else and enjoy your game.